Hi, good to see you back here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing well. So, we had an event in Brazil uh, a couple weeks ago focused on Afro hair. And I get questions all the time from patients if they're good candidates for hair transplant, if they're not a good candidate for transplants. Um, traditionally, as we educate doctors and as I lecture about hair transplants all over the place, the Afro hair has got some specific characteristics that are very interesting and uh, I love working with Afro hair for hair transplants. So one of the things that was, th this event in Brazil was solely focused in Afro hair transplantation, talking about uh, the different uh, nuances in the surgery, the planning, the results that uh, that kind of hair can offer. So I decided to record this quick video here just to kind of highlight some of the things that uh, I discussed over there in the meeting and I uh, can show you a little bit of the differences between the hair. My, one of the lectures that I gave there was about uh, my preference for the FUT procedure for Afro hair patients, for certain Afro hair patients, I should say. As you know by now, if you watch the channel, if you do some research on hair transplantation, you know that there's the FUE technique the little one by one harvesting and the FUT technique, which is the traditional strip technique. So we do both. We've done both for many, many years. My original training in transplants was the FUT technique or strip surgery 25 years ago, and I still do it to this day. I think it's still valid. And for some patients, specifically Afro patients, Afro, Afro hair patients, I do think that the FUT uh, procedure is much more desirable or much more recommended than the FUE. So this is what I'm going to be talking about here real briefly. I'm not going to get it too technical, but basically discuss my indications for FUT on Afro hair and why, okay? So Afro hair, like I said, is awesome to work with. The Afro skin, it's awesome to work with in hair. Uh, the curl of the hair, the caliber of the hair, it's very conducive for a very good result. The hair curl and the hair wave usually uh, creates a lot of interaction between the hairs, so you can get a patient to look thicker and to look fuller with fewer hair transplant procedures or hair transplant grafts as anyone with my kind of hair, for example, that's not so curly or wavy. So it's beautiful results, usually look very natural, in, but there are some technical differences too. I mean, the skin is a little thicker, uh, there might be a little bit more bleeding during the surgery, but all things considered, Afro hair is very, very good for hair transplant procedures. For me personally, I love doing Afro hair patients, uh, male patients with the FUE. The healing is incredible. You barely see any scars from the FUE punches. It is more challenging because if you look at the Afro hair under the skin, it has a let curl as well, so it hooks a little bit. Um, so you have to do a little bit of different technique with the punches and with the FUE settings, but with today's techniques, today's machines and punch designs that we have, plus the experience, of course, um, you can do very, very good FUE uh, procedures on Afro patients. So all the males, unless they are like this patient here that you know has the dreadlocks or longer hairstyles, they're not gonna wanna shave their head for the FUE, right? So for them, F, an FUT procedure is great too. For the most of the males that like to keep their hair short, sorry, I just uh, went a little ahead there on the slide, but for the males that like to keep their hair short, like the guy here in the picture, FUE is a great solution and it works really well. Now, for me personally, female patients with Afro hair are great for FUT and only FUT. The main reasons are, Number one, usually women don't like to shave their heads, so it's not a problem to have a small linear scar in the back of their head, you're not gonna see it. Number two, we know that Afro patients, both male and females, have on average lower hair density than other uh, races. So if you look at the hair per square centimeter of scalp, which is called the density, you know, the amount of hair per area of scalp, in African-American patients, it's usually lower anyway. And in women and females, it's even lower than in males. So you already start with a scalp that has less hairs per area. Normally, uh, women with Afro uh, hair uh, come to me for transplants because they lost the hairline here, the temples. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, that's called traction alopecia or traction hair loss. Very common, very doable with surgery, very treatable too. And so they already have a limited amount of donor zone. So if I take an FUE procedure, I'm gonna decrease their hair density even more. 
So they are great candidates for the strip surgery. They do really well. We can move quite a bit of hair. And again, that little scar there will never be seen. So those are my uh, indications and the reasons why I choose or recommend uh, FUT or strip surgery for all my female patients of African descent. Uh, for the males, they can have FUT or FUE. If they wear a short hairstyle, I go for FUE because I love it. I think it's great. But if they have longer hairstyles or dreadlocks or whatever, then I go for a strip too. So don't be, uh, don't be considering only the FUE. The FUT is a great technique. You can watch other videos here in the channel where I describe the advantages of the FUT versus the FUE. So go check the videos. If you have a, if you have a problem with your hair, and you want to talk to me about the solutions, the recommendations, uh, click on the link, go to our website and request a free consultation. We can do it here in the office or virtually. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed the, the video here. I'll see you next time. Take care.